सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज सो गाइज वी आर सेटिंग फायर बेस इन टू आ फ्लट ओके सो दिस इज अम्प्लीट सीरीज इन दिस दिस इज अकेंड वीडियो ऑफ अ सीरीज सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी सो हाउ टू सेटअप फायर बेस इन टू फ्लट यूजिंग फायर बेस कंसोल नाउ नाउ हाउ वी विल सी हाउ टू कनेक्ट इट using cli so cli is a command line interface for the firebase so let's just move on to a topic open any of your browser you like and go to there and search for firebase console after searching don't go to the first link go to the second link you can see over here just open it and you will come over here so in the last video we created this project so in this video we will create another project and in this project we will name it notes app so let's just click on continue 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 and we have to select an account default account for firebase create a project so let's just wait so now you can see the project is ready let's click on continue so a first step is ready now go to another tab search for node js go over here click download the latest node js version after downloading it click on download.net yes it will install and just set up it after that press windows r type cmd and click on enter go over here search for the command node v and enter if you can see the version it means you have successfully installed the node after that go to npm and view if you again see the version it means it successfully installed so you need both of this packet both of this and after that close the tab and close so now what we will do next in the next step we will open the android studio so as you can see this is the last step which we created so go to the three bars go to files go to new and new flutter project over here we will create a new flutter project and we will name it notes app and i don't want for linux mac os web or windows just click on create and i want it on new window so it's open so now you can see this is open successfully so once you have created the project go to the terminal and we have all the work over here only so now i am providing you with some commands so let me just show you these are the commands you can see so let me just close this so i will provide this command in the description box so what you need to do you need to copy this come over and paste this and enter so it will take some times and install the firebase tool you have to follow this four steps four commands just wait for some time so now you can see it's successful now click go to firebase log enter y the capital y so it will open to your browser just click on this and click on continue and allow so you will get a message then go back to android studio after that open the notes once again 
and take this third command. Copy this and paste it. After this, it will take some time to load. So it's done. Now just go to the and paste the last command. So this may be resolved. It is because like there is no we didn't set the environment variables yet. So let me just paste the code. So there is an issue. So now you can see a flutter file configure is read and it give us the response. So you can use arrow up and down key and you can use space bar key to select. So I am using notes app and click on enter. So now I want for Android or iOS. Okay, then click on enter. So now it will take all the necessary package and set up it properly. Now you can see our flutter is set up and you can see it is successfully connected also. So now after successfully connecting we will write flutter pub add firebase underscore code. So it's successfully. Now write flutter pub get. So you, when we are using flutter firebase flutter fire cli so mostly we are going to need terminal only so let's just close this and over here go and write flutter widgets binding then ensure initialized after that come over here go for firebase and write initialize app and so let's just await this. Now what's next? You can see there is a flutter options folder. So you have to add this. So how we can add and write for and write options then type default flood firebase options dot dot current platform then so now you can see our firebase code is completed successfully so let's just run it after running wait for some time it will take some time to run So now you can see the app is run successfully. So you can see it's working also. So this is how we connect Firebase with a Flutter project using CLI. So that's it for today's topic. Thank you.